And <clears throat> any minute now. And we're live. Hey, what's up, guys? Happy Fourth of July. Happy Independence Day. I'll give it a couple minutes and kind of talk through some things before we get started today. But today we're going to be building a cornhole set. And uh, man, I forgot how difficult this was uh, to do this live stream every Sunday. But I put it together. I, I woke up a little bit earlier. I got ready and took my notes just a little bit earlier. And uh, I think we're ready to get into a good build today. Uh, this should be a fun one. It's, I don't know if any of you guys have ever played cornhole or bags or whatever it's called in your area. It's, car, it's called everything here in Missouri, like most stuff is. But uh, today we're going to be building a simple regulation cornhole set. Um, before we jump into the, the meat of the video, though, I just kind of want to share some of the stuff that I'm working on. I'm not sure if you follow me on Instagram. If you do, uh, you'd have seen the uh, air cart that I'm building, or not air cart, the air station that I'm building right now. Let me go over and get on camera so I can point it up there. Still don't have my cameraman back, hopefully someday. Um, but you can see right there, uh, that's what I'm working on right now. I posted some stuff on that on Instagram, but I've got a, a oiled compressor from Makita up in the station right there. And then I'm gonna have a tool storage and then a drawer for like your odds and ends. The video on that should be out next week. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you get all that done. Click the bells and the whistles and the whatever. Uh, so yeah, that video is gonna come out probably next Thursday. Um, I haven't yet quite started working on the edit. Uh, I've still got some more finishing touches to do on the build. But once I get that done, we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, is my audio okay, video okay? Before I get into the build, I just wanna see in the comments if somebody can let me know that everything's kind of clean. Uh, that's always helpful. Um, so yeah, building the cornhole set. So a regulation cornhole set um, is two feet wide by four feet deep, so 24 by 48. Uh, it's uh, typically two to four inches off the ground at the front, and then it's got some legs that stand it up to be 12 inches off the ground at the back, and those are like the critical dimensions. The, the, the hole is a six inch cutout. Um, that's, that's the regulation on that, because uh, there's six inch bags that you're supposed to throw into it. Um, and then the, the hole placement is gonna be nine inches off the center of the back edge. That's where the center of that hole is. So three inch radius circle. So I've got my compass ready to map that out. Um, just gonna wait just a second, see if I've got some good audio and video. Can anybody confirm in the comments? I've got my laptop here, so I'm trying to man a one-man show as best I can here, but we'll do the best we can. Got my coffee as usual. Uh, my game day mug, one of my favorites. Wifey brought that to me about 10 minutes ago, so I'm ready to rock and roll. All right, I guess no one's feeling like writing any comments in today, so no big deal. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing is going to be to build the frame. Um, so the frame here, I've got everything pre-cut. I use some nasty scrap two by fours because this stuff's too expensive right now to go out and buy new two by fours to build a cornhole set. I'll sand it up and make it clean before I bring it over to the family's house. So I've got two 48 inch segments here. And then to connect those, that's generally people only build them with two. Uh, I'm gonna build these with three uh, segments with one in the middle to reinforce that piece. Uh, that way I get a little bit stiffer board. It'll make it a little bit more difficult to, uh, to finish. Uh, the other thing that I'm, the other reason I'm reinforcing it is because regulation, you're supposed to have a half inch top for rigidity. And all I had was quarter inch plywood and plywood's also really expensive. So I wasn't about to run out and buy some super expensive plywood to build a yard game. So we're gonna start just by toe screwing in these edge pieces. Um, so I've got a clamp, clamp is a good, idea here so you get them nice and flush so i'll just level those here on the table if you guys want a different camera angle let me know i'm just going to kind of work on the wide from most of this project um, but i'll come i'll go make some adjustments here and again all right so we got two i've got my clamps over there and i can't reach them because this is a seven foot bench i tried to be prepared did my best So we've just got some simple F clamps here that we're going to clamp this side in with. And you could pre-drill for these, but since these are soft 2x4s, and honestly, these are 
from my shed from like probably three years ago. So they, uh, they're a, you could, you're not going to split these. What's up everybody? Not the cornholia I thought you meant. Still a good channel. Uh, sorry, man. Not on this one. This is family content. Andy, is the, uh, is the audio okay? I just want to check in. I always hate when I get out of sync audio streams, so if it's messed up, I can fiddle with some settings. And sorry, the, the, um, the comments are always really delayed. So if I don't respond to you right away, it's not because I'm not paying attention. It's just because YouTube's not serving it to me in time. All right. The fun thing about the live builds is uh, when you get to edit, you get to, uh, you know, not fumble through things. But when you don't get to edit, you have to act like you know what you're doing in real time. I wish I had three hands sometimes. There we go. All right, so clamping these together just to make sure that I've got, I can square these up and drive the screw square and flush. And I don't need to worry about squaring this side, but I do need to worry about squaring the other side because this is just going to kind of be a reference edge. Um, all right. I am connecting all of this with inch and three quarter uh, screw, uh, self tapping screws, wood screws. Uh, you could pre drill for these. You could, use, these aren't exterior grade, but I'm hopefully going to take this inside whenever I'm not using it. One no split. Two no splits. Good. You should probably pre-drill for these. <laughs> Audio is good. Thanks. Thanks, Catman. I appreciate it. Good. Yeah, I got a lot better internet since last season of Mo and Joe, so this is gonna be a lot easier to stream, it's kind of a pain in the butt to stream without fast internet. It's impossible, basically. All right, so we got one edge done. Simple, simple. Leave my clamp set up, flip her around. I'm not sure if you can tell on video how gnarly these two by fours are, but they're, they're pretty gross. They were just literally s sitting outside in my shed for countless years and they're already like recovered from other projects. Some of them have mud on them and grossness. I pulled a lot of the staples out before I started to use them because I didn't want to cut myself on stream. I don't really want to have to deal with band-aids. And of course I pre-cut everything. Uh, they don't come like this from the store. You can FT. What does that mean, Catman? Oh, you can tell. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are gross. Uh, let me grab a square real quick. So I'm not sure if you can tell the layout of my shop from the way the stream's laid out, um, but it's basically like a 30 foot uh, three car garage. Uh, it's like a car and a quarter deep. So it's just a, you know, maybe a little bit large garage that I somehow was able to wrangle from my, uh, my wife. So there are no parking spots. I do have one laid out on the floor, but we've never used it. I guess we used it once when it was raining or snowing. I mean, uh, okay, a couple more screws on this side. What do you guys got any plans for the 4th of July? Anybody do anything fun? I'm going to see fireworks. I'm going to see fireworks at my dad's house. We do that every year. Take the kids. He lives right in front of a park, so. And the park puts on a pretty ridiculous display. Okay, when I said don't pre-drill in these, you definitely should pre-drill. I have split a couple of these. Full transparency, so I'm gonna put in an eighth inch bit and do some pre-drilling 
for the remainder of the screws. When you guys build woodworking projects, I mean, one thing that I always find is the first one is always like where I do my learning. So if I'm building two of something, the first one's always where I do my learning and the second one's always perfect. So I guess if I ever like build customer work again, I'll definitely make sure that they get the second one of whatever I'm building. This stuff was just so choochy. I was pretty sure it was gonna be easy to drive screws into, but I think it's super dried out. It's probably none percent right now. There we go. Even easier. Okay, we got our two side supports. Now we're gonna put in our middle support. And the only thing critical here is I just want to make sure that it doesn't uh, get in the way of where the hole's going to be. So I'm not being too stingy about it. Make sure it's square so it's actually doing some supporting. There we go. And there we go. It's flush so I don't have a pain in the butt when to the top. And we'll pre-drill because... I learned my lesson. Yeah, you can tell how dry that stuff is. I could feel every layer, and this is just like stud pine, like no big deal. I'm not sure if you can hear that as it goes through each layer of the, the tree. One. Ooh, I don't think we're gonna share any uh, like other channel content today. Uh, since it's a holiday, I'm just gonna try to get through this build and uh, just have some fun. If you guys have any questions throughout, feel free. Feel free to chime in. I am, it is office hours. I'm happy to answer anything you guys have. Or if you have any video ideas or build ideas or questions about builds you have going on. Look at that, one frame done already. All right, I'll set this one aside. We'll just do this sequentially so we can get all these knocked out. Because honestly, I just kind of want to play some bags with my family today. So yeah, this is kind of a nice build. It's something that I needed and uh, I could quickly knock out on the stream. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys have seen uh, Third Coast Craftsman. Oh, see you, man. Have a good one. See you, Catman. <laughs> Appreciate it, Catman. Um, the, uh, not sure if you guys have seen, but my buddy uh, Chris over at Third Coast Craftsman, he built a ridiculous over the top set of, set of bags boards. Uh, I don't know if I would ever do that. <laughs> it doesn't, I don't know if that's something that you guys are into, but uh, yeah, I'm just kind of good with the basic cornhole board. Maybe, you know, paint your favorite sports team's logo on the front, and that's about, about as far as I'll go. Apologize if I'm not making eye contact with the camera. I know that some of you guys like that so much. <laughs> I'm just messing with it. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just trying to be safe at the same time as I'm working here. It's already enough to walk and talk at the same time. <sighs> so anybody have any plans for the fourth? Anything? Oh. <sighs> So like I said again, this is just that first reference edge. This time I'm going to pre-drill because now I've learned my lesson. Boring lesson, but I'm not sure if you uh, ever thought about why you pre-drill. Basically the splitting happens because when you drive a screw Without pre-drilling, you're just compressing all the wood that's underneath those, those uh, threads. Um, when you pre-drill, you're getting that stuff out of the way, so there's no compression. So the, comp the crack that you get is from the compression of the grain. 
I mean, it's also a little bit from the wedging that the screw does because, like, you know, a wedge is a wedge, even if it is a spiral wedge. These are some new drills that Makita sent me over. I'm gonna be doing a video on them in a couple weeks. Uh, they're the new like top of the line brushless setup. It's pretty cool. The uh, impact driver has like the full computer here on the base that you can see like your speed, your light. Uh, it's got a hammer drill function apparently. Uh, it's got all kinds of different functionality and you can also control all the speed from this little button right here on the nose. So you don't have to go into all your settings every time you want to tweak something, which is nice. You can just do it on the fly. I right, drove that screw. One more here. What kind of builds would you guys be interested in seeing in future videos? Hey, I'm finishing a cornhole set for my daughter. Awesome. When, uh, when are you going to, you got to be ready for today for the barbecue there, Gary? I'm just trying to put together a yard game that hopefully we can play today. That's my goal anyway. Are you doing something fancy, Gary? Or are you doing just like a basic setup? And where you're from, do they call it bags or cornhole? Should have picked a bit better clamp. I had these really nice uh, squeeze clamps. Uh, my brother got me for my birthday, I think, a couple years ago. Um, they're nicer squeeze clamps than I would ever get for myself, but uh, I need to use those more often. They're from, I think, DeWalt, which you wouldn't normally think of for clamps, but yeah, they really work. All right, got to check for square. Good enough for cornhole. I try to manage the audio so that the it's not too crazy for shop sounds. I have I have a secondary mic that's picking up mostly like all the ambient stuff on the mic, on the camera. So if that's too high, let me know and I can turn that down. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. Happy 4th of July. Looks like we just had a spike of uh, people dropping in the stream. If you are watching, make sure you're dropping a like. Uh, feel free to share it on social media if it's something you think other people should check out. Um, YouTube. YouTube isn't the greatest live, greatest live streaming platform as far as like sharing out your streams, so it kind of counts on viewers to let them know that it's good stuff. So. Please, please, if you're uh, enjoying the stream or if you've enjoyed the streams in the past, even if I'm failing today, drop it a like, give me a share, whatever you can do to help uh, people see these videos. I'm going to do them because I know that there's a core group of people that watch me that enjoy them, so good on me. And uh, it's also just fun to, uh, it's, fun to, it's a fun challenge to be like, okay, what can I build in a day? These projects are always like super approachable, so I think a lot of people could easily build these themselves in a day. And uh, just trying to stay, it also keeps me building at least one thing every week. Because with family life and stuff, it's, uh, with family life and stuff, it gets uh, a bit crazy. Gary's not delivering till August. Okay, she lives in the, okay, doing an over the top version through not turning out the way especially. Yeah, that's right, man. The first one is always the first one's always the, the learning, the learning project. So what over the top are you doing on that one, Gary? Is it epoxy inlay or is it like LED lighting or is it, is it a smart board? Does it make it so is it like the stuff build here guy where you can't possibly miss? That would be a fun one to build for him if he's if he ever sees this. I like that guy. Do you guys watch stuff built here? That guy is like, 
such an over-the-top engineer. I, it's always boggles my mind, the stuff he builds. Hey, what's up, Chris? Thanks, man. Thanks for joining. I was just talking about you. I saw it. I was talking about your uh, over-the-top uh, cornhole board, so good work on that thing. You might want to help Gary. He's trying to build an over-the-top one, too. Uh, me, I'm just building one that my family can use. What happened here? Those did not drive the way they were supposed to. Okay. This old wood just does not hold screws very well. You got any plans for the fourth, Chris? Yeah, today I went all out in preparation. I got a light set up. I got. I did streaming tests and audio tests before I got on. I was, I, last week was a nightmare. I think it's because I switched computers here in the shop and I didn't have all the software installed. And it, oh, Jesus. Well, I guess the second one doesn't always turn out as well. This stuff does not hold screws well. Oh, that's annoying. If I had some two inch screws, that'd be nice. Apologies for the audio there. <laughs> Storage for bocce balls, yardsy cups, and scoring pool. Oh, that's cool. That's 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 fun. That's a lot of fun. Just get these confibulated. Another one went together so easy. Maybe I was wrong on the whole second one's right. Yeah, this should be built with two inch screws, probably two and a quarter inch screws to be fair. Even longer if you wanted to. I just have inch and three quarters of screws sitting around, so. cooking with gas. Awesome. Another, another drink of coffee. Oh, it's good with the sawdust. All right, um, we also have these legs that we're going to be attaching. I'm going to go ahead and get these ready to rock and roll. Um, so these legs need one rounded off face on the side because the legs are going to fold into the body and fold out. And I left plenty of room for those on both sides. So I've got my jigsaw and I guess we'll just use the coffee cup as a perfect, oh, it's like I planned that out, as a perfect little round over there to trace out. So we'll use the coffee cup to trace our little radii. There we go, look, it's like it was made for that. So these are gonna take a carriage bolt through them and that's what's going to allow them to pivot. Yep, 
You know what? I could do this a jigsaw, but I've got a bandsaw like literally right there, so I'm just gonna go knock them out real quick on a bandsaw. Knocking these out real quick. All right, so we've got our two rounded over segments there. Uh, those would be the legs. I'll need to trim these to length because I don't want that back section to go over uh, 12 inches high um, because I want it to be somewhat regulation. Um, I'll cut the other ones off stream because I don't want to bore you guys with that. <laughs> Thank goodness you didn't play croquet, that's right. Um, or I guess polo, that'd be weird. I don't think you'd have a horse stable in there. Um, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just work with the one set here to finish off so we don't take forever on this stream. Um, so to attach the top, I'm just gonna use some glue and some brad nails. Actually, I'll use pin nails because I don't want them to show. So let's see how good we got our measurements. Now, ideally, if you were building this for like, you know, finish grade, you would want to uh, cut the top just slightly oversized to your frame, and then you would flush trim that to the final dimension. But in like a quick course thing like this, I'm totally okay with having a little bit of inconsistencies. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get my pen nailer, which I was using on another project the other day. You might actually get to hear my, uh, my new compressor kick on too. I guess it'll be a spoiler for the video coming up later this week, but it's a lot quieter and I love it. Need some more pin nails. Ah, and I meant to grab the glue bottle. It's over there too. <laughs> it's funny when you're like walking around your shop. I'm always like thinking about how I can be like the most efficient, but in this like long narrow space, it's so, uh, it's so serial, like everything happens in an order. You can't like do several things at the same time. So I always end up like four or five trips across the same shop just because I'm trying to get something. And it's like, oh, I forgot. And instead of just like turning around and grab it, I gotta walk across the shop again. Bigger shops aren't always better. It is nice to just kind of reach all the corners of your shop at the same time. I've had a little of a little of each. This is nice a nice space to work in. I really do like it. I think uh, if I were to do anything differently, maybe down the road, I might uh, I might consolidate some of the tools again, just so I can have more like focused work areas. Because sometimes I find myself like with too many things in one. <laughs> Too many different things in one space. Um, just because it's more laid out like around where the tools work optimally instead of how I work optimally. I, I probably watch too much Adam Savage though. I love the way he is meticulous and insane about his workshop. If there was anyone you can meet 
in like the maker world from like like anybody, who would it be? For me, it'd probably be Adam Savage. I have so many questions for him. Pardon the back of my head. Just gonna drop some glue on here real quick. Again, this is pretty coarse. This isn't something that's like a beautiful, over the top, Chris Third Coast Craftsman level project, but it gets the job done and allow me to play some cornhole later today. All right, we got our glue. And I'm using pin nails here because I'm really only using them to hold the top in place while the glue dries. They're not really adding any strength or anything structural to the build. Okay, there you go. All right, and you can hear my new compressor, how quiet it is in that silence cabinet. My old one was probably three or four times this loud, so it's pretty nice. And since it's two and a half horsepower, it compresses quick. that up not too bad but could have aligned better and I let it slip by not adjusting it rushing through live streaming problems This is all the stuff you don't get to see in like an edited YouTube video is all the oops I ran out of a thing I need to refill the thing oops that tool isn't worth the way I thought it did oops I need to do a minor repair yeah so there's one platform we'll set that aside just a little bit to dry before we cut it out man I love that quiet compressor thing used to actually like scare me when it popped on the old one because it was so loud it would just be like the middle of the night I'd be in the middle of a project I'd be like it just you know kind of chilling and then all of a sudden man that thing was so loud so oiled compressors are a lot quieter than oilless compressors for those uninformed um, and uh, yeah if you're looking for Low maintenance, oilless compressors are the way to go, but they are much louder. Um, if you're looking for something that's a little bit potentially more durable, as long as you maintain it properly, um, but is going to have a lot more maintenance, uh, that's where you'd look for an oiled compressor. Just uh, FYI. I am not a compressor expert though. I initially bought an oilless compressor because maintenance on my compressor sounded like a pain in the butt, but it's really only comes down to like an oil change, like once every three to six months, depending on usage, depending on your use utility cycle of the compressors. So nothing big. My brother's like a compressor expert though. He could tell you more about it.
Hey, what's up, Mom? Happy 4th of July. Hey, there we go. All right, two of them skinned and glued up. And I went a little fast with the nails on that one. So let me grab my pliers and remove some of those. My nippers. Another problem with the dry wood. Just a few more nails. <coughs> All right, so we've got our two platforms glued and skinned and screwed. So those are ready to rock and roll. Uh, now we need to cut that hole on the back side here. So like I said, it's going to be nine inches from the top and dead center. So since this is 24 inches wide, dead center is going to be at 12 inches. And I have a pencil right here. All right, so we'll come in nine inches. And we know this needs to be, we'll come in 12, and we know this needs to be a three inch radius. So I'll mark out three inches from that center point just so I can set my compass. That's 12, so that goes down to nine. Then I'm just gonna set my compass to, I didn't properly. Mark that. I'll just set up my compass to a three inch radius. There we go. I've played on these totally non-regulation, but I, I just wanted to build my first one to regulation just so I knew what I was up against. All right, there we go. There's our circle marked. Add some pencil to it just to make it easier to see when I'm cutting it. And then for the jigsaw blade, so what kind of projects you guys want to see next week? Um, I've got a couple ideas, but I haven't settled on one yet. What kind of projects do you think you want to see? There's a lot of yard games, obviously, for the summer people are into. I'm open to whatever. I just want to have fun. So if anybody has any cool ideas, I'd love to try to make them work on a one day build. If nothing else, we'll get started on it. Maybe we don't finish, but at least we can get started.
first hole cut. <sighs> All right, I think I'm almost ready to finish this one. I think I'm going to throw a round over on the top here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And uh, then we'll add those legs. So I really apologize. I know the audio probably gets messed up when I'm using tools. I do my best. I have like clip gain settings and stuff on there, but you can only do so much with the tools available with live streaming when you got a bunch of loud tools going on. Flush trim. Now we just need to add the legs. And I built the legs. They're going to go a little something like that. Very cool. This wood broken, of course. Old shoddy two by fours. Where'd my other leg go? There it is. Ugh. All right, so these are going to go through with some quarter 20 carriage bolts um, that I've got. Right here, um, I need to drill a slightly oversized hole for them. So I'll do a 5 16 hole for them so they can rotate freely. And I'm not going to be too stingy about it. Sorry, if you wanted to make these perfect, you could. Uh, Take some more time, but I just need to make sure they rotate on the center of the axis. There we go. Let's make sure that rotates. So I've got a couple of uh, oversized washers here too um, to make sure that it's got some space to rotate. So I'll go carriage bolt, washer, leg, washer, and then nut. Okay, and my radius is a little off, which is fine. I can always trim that a bit. It's also the problem of not going dead center. So uh, do as I say, not as I do. Uh, you should definitely try to center your hole on the radius. So it's better to drill these from the inside. There we go. Watch, this one's going to work out of the box. So we're going to go again, bolts, oversized washer, into the leg, oversized washer, and then nut. And watch. Snug, but yeah, it'll wear in. All right, so there we have that. I think I'm just going to re-drill this one because it's scrap wood anyway, whatever. Does anyone want to see an over-the-top cornhole board? I would totally build one. It sounds like fun. I liked seeing Chris's build. That looked like a lot of fun. So, yeah, if you guys want to see an over-the-top, like, 
properly fully thought out cornhole board instead of just like how to build a bog standard one. That'd be fun, let me know. Leg washer nut. There we go. Look at that. Two legs. Easy peasy. All right. Uh, now I need to make sure that these don't exceed the 12 inch regulation. And that one's good. And that one's good. There were like 12 and a quarter. That's good enough for me. I'm not playing competitive bags. So let's see this thing final setup. Clear some of my tools out of the way. Don't want to spill my coffee. That would be a party foul. And boom, bags, did it. What was the time there? When we started basically right off the beginning, what was the time? We're uh, 40, 45 minutes in the stream. I'd say that's not too bad. Two words, dust recovery. Oh yeah, for this, yeah, I, I don't like, try to be super clean when I'm doing these builds. They're just kind of quickly strapped together. I have a dust collection system here, dust collection system there, and I've got shop backs at every corner of the shop. Um, but the, the sound of the shop backs is cutting and I don't like to use them live on the stream. Um, next week, I should make an outdoor table for your mom. Is that between the Adirondack chairs you gave me from Mother's Day? I might just do that, mom. So I've got to sand these up and clean them up a little bit. I'll do that off stream. But uh, now that we're done with the project, uh, open it up to q and I see we got seven people still on here. Is there anything any of you guys need to know? Uh, I'm just gonna finish my coffee and answer some questions if any of you guys need anything. Or if you have suggestions for future projects or uh, stuff you wanna see live on the stream, uh, open to that as well. What does this angle look like with this bags thing here? Is this survivable? I think this is doable. So what's on your mind? What, uh, what projects are you working on? What videos should I watch? What things should I build next? I'm just, I'm just pumped to get some feedback. If you've got, got some, uh, something on your mind, let me know. If there's something you loved or hated about one of my past videos, good time to share that too, instead of just uh, anonymously in the comments. Open for Q&A, anything? I don't know how delayed this is on the stream. It looks like we're probably delayed by a couple minutes or a couple seconds, so. Yeah, let me know. Also, uh, drop a like on your way out. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. I appreciate that you think I'm good at what I do. If your mom approves, that's all you really need. I think I'm about done, though, with the stream. I'll probably still make some more videos. So uh, stay tuned later this week. We've got the video of finishing up the uh, air tool uh, station that I built on the wall. Um, so that's gonna be coming up. Probably Thursday would be when I'd guess. Um, awesome work, man. It's always a blast to watch you do thing. Appreciate it, Bryce, man, it was fun. Uh, so I've got that video coming out next week. The week after that, I've got a video coming out looking at like your basic, you know, advertised in the Sunday paper, like drill kit versus like a premium drill kit and what the difference between those are. Uh, so I'll be doing a video on that the week after. Um, so stay tuned for that as well. Make sure you subscribe, like, click bells, do all those things. Uh, and we'll see you around on the rest of those videos. I'm gonna be doing this stream as much as I can. I mean, this is a, a holiday Sunday, so uh, I know the, viewer, the viewership probably isn't what it is because everybody's already probably cracking a beer. But I'm gonna try to do this every Sunday, build something, share some videos hopefully most of the time, get like 30 minutes, an hour with you guys, 
and uh, we'll just hang out. So come with your questions, come with your suggestions. If there's anything you wanna see or share, uh, this is a great place to do it. Um, I'll also have kind of a quick Q&A at the end of each session. So let me know if there's anything uh, that you wanna see. Uh, let me know if there's any questions. I think I'm gonna end it here today. Maybe I gotta drink a little more of this coffee and then we'll end it. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know what you got. And I look forward to seeing you guys every Sunday and hopefully some Thursdays and other days for videos as well. Cool. Well, hey, have a great weekend. Have a great 4th of July. And remember to keep your tools sharp and keep your mind sharper. I will catch you next Thursday and maybe next, and next Sunday as well. Talk to you then. See ya. Bye-bye.